Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's going on, Capricorn? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, Capricorns, let's talk about new love coming towards you. Okay, Cappies, and as I was saying that, I was drawn to a deck. An oracle deck. Let's find it here. Is it this one? It's this one. Okay, Cappies. Capricorns, new love. This is new love. Okay, Cappies? What was the lesson Capricorn had to learn? Or what's the lesson for Capricorn as they move forward? Now, this one came out sideways. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. Now, this was sideways, so this could be... A new love coming into your life, or this could be you. Maybe you need to learn to be a little bit more compassionate and open up there, Capricorns. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being, right? You're a loyal partner. Freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So a lot of you are able to open that heart and, and find love, right? It's the love or not the love that broke your heart. So, you know, not everyone resonates in that energy. So you got to be open and receptive to it, working on your heart chakra, keeping your heart chakra open. Right, Cappies? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Capricorn Collective. Capricorns, what do you have new love coming towards you? New love. I already noticed the three of swords in there. So some of y'all could have an, an, an ex or a past person pining over you. Ah, the magician with the message. So, um... This person could be trying to uh, contact you. This person is probably watching you online. Magician energy, so they're cloaking their cell fake accounts. Um, be mindful of that. Some of y'all catfishing. They're not going to show up as themselves because they know you ain't going to deal with them. So just keep that shit in mind. What do you have new love coming towards Capricorn? Page of Wands. This could be opening up that line of communication with somebody. Because I like the fact that cloud is out of there. So this is a person that uh, knows what they want. They're going to be a clear, concise communicator. Um, they're not, they're, there's not going to be any illusion to uh, how they feel. For some of you, because I'm really drawn to them clouds in the background looking kind of phallic. This person, I, th I think you really turn this person on. They, they feel a, a, a nice sexual attraction towards you as well. But I feel like they're going to be very, uh, they're going to be very smart and uh, capable of communicating. Four cups. You probably don't even see this person. <laughs> you probably don't even recognize this person is even looking at you. You're just over there in that four swords, healing, chilling, having a good old time. Right? Love always finds you when you least expect it. But I do feel like you're catching someone's attention. You're really turning them on. And this is a really good communicator, too. Now the star card energy. But I, I like that for you, Capricorns, because a lot of you are really uh, doing your sort of emotional healing. Because remember, one of your cards was being able to open up, right? Opening up that heart chakra. Being able to express what you had going on. Action. Have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Someone that appreciates you for who you are. Again, but this, this page of wants energy, this is going to be very good banter, very, uh, you know, however you like your communication to be. If you like them witty, whatever type sense of humor, uh, this person's going to have it. Loyalty, your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion, consistency of being, and your freedom. This is that, that star card energy here. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions 
or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Openness. You're liberating your heart, basically. You're allowing that, uh, that, that energy, that love, that emotion to just kind of flow. You're not restricting it. Uh, of course, you're going to have your healthy boundaries in place, but you're allowing the communication to happen. You're allowing that little bit of flirting. You're allowing yourself to be open to the possibility. And a lot of you, it's just going to show up when you least expect it, okay? I definitely feel like you've got somebody here that... Uh, Definitely likes you. Between the Page of Wands and the Four of Swords, you got the Ten of Wands. This is for a lot of you releasing from any past uh, negative sort of thought patterns when it comes to love. Uh, releasing any... You know, it's, it's like that song. It's the love or not the love. Uh, you know, don't judge everybody by your past partner because not everybody is like that. This person is slowly fading out of your life, which is for a lot of you is why they're still watching what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, the hermit. You're just chilling and relaxing, but I, I do feel like you're you are uh, releasing emotionally or getting that heart chakra open. And for a lot of you, once you open that heart chakra, is when you're going to bring in the right person. Some of you, it's a Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio Leo mix. Really picking up Leo with that horse there. Um, so this person would be very passionate. This person would be very passionate. Now with this Ten of Wands here and this Death card, a lot of you have got to allow the separation from any past sort of, uh, you know holds if you're still holding on to a karmic situation or you're still pining for someone from your past to come back in you're going to block any newer energy from coming in so a lot of you i hope you you've severed those connections and you're allowing the new to come in you're not just closing off um holding on for for some of you a dead end really so you got to allow yourself to be open for the new to come in that's opening up that heart chakra, right? Ten of Cups. This this <laughs> page of wands and this four of swords. Someone really does see you as being a Ten of Cups person. They like everything about you. Two of Swords. This this again gives me that intellectual banter. They're going to be emotion, well emotionally stimulating. But for a lot of you, this person is going to be. Uh, <clears throat> mentally capable of uh, communicating with you. You guys are going to have uh, very good conversations. You could have a lot of late night conversations. You could have opposing views, but it's not going to be something that brings conflict. It, it's actually uh, it's actually going to be rather interesting for both of you to see different viewpoints. For some of you, you know, uh, I use the term argue very loosely, but to kind of get your point across, right? This is someone that's going to make you think and you're going to make them think because the verbal banter is going to be right on point, which, right, you got to be able to communicate with your partner and your methods of communication, you know, the things you talk about, the things you're passionate about, uh, your religious beliefs, your spiritual beliefs, all those things. You guys are going to be able to coexist in, in a way where... <laughs> You know, you make it work. Very good uh, communication skills, though. Queen of Cups. Someone's going to like your uniqueness. Or this person could be rather unique, too. They're very emotional. They could have a lot of... Well, I say emotional in the fact that this person could have a lot of different um, outlets for their creativity. So, um, you know, if they are a Scorpio energy... Uh, definitely a water sign energy here. So they, they're, they're going to have to have different methods of uh, kind of that emotional release. And some of you, they could, I don't want to say flamboyant so much as uh, very creative in their expressing of their emotions. Ace of Cups. That Ace of Cups is kind of like the um, 
little cherub angel shooting that bow but it's bringing in that cup of love because remember you're still in this moon energy or the star energy here so some of y'all definitely a pisces or a scorpio but you got to be open open over top of that ace of cups <laughs> knight of wands some of you definitely meeting somebody who is I, I don't want to say flamboyant, but this person is definitely, they, they're going to stand out. There's something about them that's very different, but that's what you're going to like about them. This person is, is going to communicate. Because I think you could be oblivious that this person is even looking at you or interested in you. Because you're just off doing your healing, you're just off doing your thing, right? This person could invite you to an art exhibit. This person could invite you to maybe a movie. Uh, could be like an artsy type movie. This person is is uh, going to be very intellectually stimulating for you. So they're going to probably come up with some very interesting dates. That afterwards, y'all going to have some conversations about, right? Don't mean you're going to like everything. But some of you, this person, I feel like the intellectual banter and the, the stimulation that comes intellectually... Is really what's going to make this work. Even if you're kind of opposites, you, you still kind of make it work. You know what I mean? I'm wanting to say it's giving me like that Mitch and Cam type energy on um, Modern Family. What's the bottom of the deck? Ace of Swords... Page of Swords with the Three of Wands. And the Empress. Yeah, you got someone that's definitely wanting to come forward and talk to you. Oh, there's that Ace of Swords. This is the truth. They're watching, trying to figure out how they want to come in towards this Empress. Now, when I say you guys could be like opposites, you could be like, you know, sort of well-dressed, a little bit more put together. A little bit more... Polished, I guess, is the right word. This person could almost be a little bit bohemian. I think definitely very creative. So they could be an artist. Um, they're trying to figure out how they're going to come toward you. Because they are watching. You definitely have someone who's watching. They like what they see. Because I think you're focusing on doing the healing. You're opening up that heart chakra. For this person to be, uh, to have noticed you, this could be someone that you see on a regular basis. Um, this, uh, I'm not picking up work here. This could be someone uh, at a restaurant. The, the person you meet might be an artist type. So, you know, they might have a couple different odd jobs and that could be where you see this person or you meet this person or you know this person. But they like what they see. I think you're going to like the fact that the communication, you guys are going to communicate, like, uh, perfectly. You're, you're going to not be afraid to kind of talk about the, the important things. So, talking about issues with you guys isn't going to be a problem, right? You're going to be able to discuss anything. Even if you share opposite views, you're still going to respect each other's kind of point of view. You know what I mean? Um... In a very good way. So the line of communication is definitely going to be open. You're going to be able to converse. Uh, so there isn't going to be any of those uh, kind of holdups that most uh, uh, relationships have. Definitely feeling this person is very artistic. Uh, they could change their hair color a lot. They could wear different clothes. They could be... Uh, I feel like they could be an artist of some sort almost or a painter or a photographer. This person is is a uh, is going to be very it's like colorful. They're going to be very interesting. They're going to captivate you. And for a lot of you, they're going to they're going to make you think but really in a very beautiful way. For some of you it might be almost a little out of your comfort zone. This person may be able to talk freely about their emotions. For some of you, maybe that's an issue that you've had in the past. You've always stayed reserved. 
So you're going to have to learn to express things in a relationship. And this person, I think, is going to help you open up and be able to converse and have like real conversations and find real solutions, right? Because that's that's the main issue here. You have to be able to address issues or problems and be able to kind of work it out and understand each other's viewpoint. They are wanting to move towards you, but a lot of you are definitely, you're, you're evolving, you're showing up. They see you as this beautiful empress. Masculines, uh, it can be emperor energy too, okay? Uh, just switch the energies. You're showing up as, as someone that this person kind of reveres, right? For some of you, you you show up as the polished version of who this person might aspire to be, but maybe they're not as polished. You know what I mean? I feel you both are going to have distinct dressing styles. You, you're probably not going to dress alike. You're going to definitely be very different in some ways, but the same in others. They see you as being very, very polished and very accomplished. Okay, they definitely do see that. Now with this Three of Wands energy here, this person could be uh, still trying to kind of get on their feet and get themselves sort of established. So for some of you, this person could be an, uh, of an, like the artistic kind. Um... There's something very creative about them. They could be a great storyteller as well. And that could be what kind of captivates you. The way they can kind of draw you in and, and you just could listen to them talk for hours. And that's going to be what kind of helps you guys out. Maybe when you all talk, the, the it's like the language. Um, the communication is going to be so fucking amazing. But some of you, if, if you're, you're still holding on to some past sort of image or imagery of somebody or someone that you might still be holding a little torch for, you need to let that person kind of get out of your energy. Because they're still showing up. The, whoever the hell this is, someone is still watching what the fuck you're doing. And y'all, I hope y'all aren't. Some of y'all, you got to sever those toxic connections in order to call in the new. What's that Ace of Swords over there? The Justice here. You know what I gave her that? Tough Titty said the kitty when the milk went dry. Some of you need to quit giving to another situation if you want to bring in this sort of balance. Okay, if you're still holding some karmic torch for somebody, you need to you need to stuff that shit out and be open to the new. Especially if you're looking for someone who could be like a long-term type relationship. Okay? But you gotta quit feeding another situation. You gotta cut that tit off and not, not give to it anymore. Especially if you wanna call in like a, a, a partner that's gonna be around for a while. Someone that you could actually see building and growing with. I'm really loving this this ability to communicate. It's going to be very easy for you and this person to communicate. It's like you guys are going to share like the same type of uh, humor. Maybe you have a dark humor. You like, uh, you know... Uh, Things that some might consider macabre, right? Uh, you could like uh, scary movies. You could like, uh, you know, novels that are are geared toward more. Maybe you like true crime shit, right? For some of you, this could be someone that actually works in the system. Whatever you guys, the banter is going to be fucking amazing.
But this person is going to be very uniquely different. But they revere you as the Empress. Empress, Emperor. And I like that. This person could have uh, Earth in their chart. They could be uh, have a Aquarius placement. They're uniquely different. They could love the outdoors as well. They could make things out of um, natural found. Uh, Artifacts, rocks, stone, feathers. This person is a nesting energy as well. They're going to feel like home. This person is going to feel like home to you. But you guys could really almost be polar opposites, to be quite honest with you. But what's going to connect this together is your banter. Your banter. The communication is going to be spot on. But this person is probably going to open your mind to some creative aspects of life that maybe you're not used to seeing, Capricorn. For a lot of you, this person is an artist. Or they have that sort of artistic touch. The Ten of Cups... I do feel this person is going to approach you, Capricorn, because I don't even think you're paying attention. I think it is someone around you that, that sees you, whether you know them or not. You might recognize them. It's not a creepy type energy. Bottom of the deck, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. I think this person is going to be an unexpected sort of uh, Nine of Cups for you. They're going to feel liberating. That's what you're going to like about them. Because your communication is going to be on point. You guys are going to be able to talk about anything and everything. And it's not going to be arguments. You guys are going to be like uh, able to sit down and really converse. And uh, become one and work together. Someone could have a septum piercing. That's not going to be for everybody. You guys could share a, a love for the medieval. Some of you like the sort of macabre side of life, okay? And this person's going to share that interest. You know, if you like uh, uh, reading about, you know, uh, the Tower of London and different sort of things like that, uh, this person's going to share your interest. Even though on the outside, they may seem a little <laughs> different. Oh, I love this. I love this for you, Capricorn. But some of you, seriously, this Ten of Wands showing up, this Justice card here, some of y'all are going to have to stop giving to a situation. So quit talking to your ex, quit thinking about an ex, quit worrying about an ex. Okay, you got to move on from that situation. Because the more energy you spend on that, you're taken away from the energy you could be putting towards something. And definitely be mindful if you meet somebody of an ex wanting to come back in to kind of get on that tit. Uh, you got to you gotta let the milk run dry on somebody here. You get, you know, yeah, you can't be friends. So some of y'all don't even make that a fucking option. Because this person probably wouldn't tolerate it. And they'd have that discussion with you. Look, you know what? I'm in your life now. But if you want to deal with that person, I'm going to just excuse myself. This person is going to be a no-nonsense person. So, you know, if you start 
acting like a little bitch. They they leave your ass. Um, so that's what you're going to like about this person. This person don't come with double standards. They're going to lay it out and you're going to be able to talk and they'll just be straightforward with it. But, you know, if some of you are still given to an ex situation, they could... They could be the one to say, you know what, I'm just going to excuse myself from this. I thought you were available, but apparently you're not. So, you know, I think that's what you're going to like about this person, Capricorns. Especially if some of you are still holding on to an ex, or you haven't quite severed that connection that you know you need to sever. I think in order to move forward with this person, they're just going to kind of lay it out for you like that, right? You're going to like this person. You're going to be able to talk, and that's going to be the thing. Maybe for some of you Capricorns, it's going to be the first time, uh, for some of you, probably the first time ever in a relationship, that someone's going to come in, and, and you're going to be able to discuss things freely, and not have it be arguments, not have one person storming off, acting like an ass. You're going to be able to actually sit there and discuss some really good things, um, and get different viewpoints. Because the communication is going to be on fucking point. And that's what's going to be important. When? I know some of you are asking when. I feel like if you're still dealing with that ex situation, you got to, you know, you got to remove this person and quit worrying or concerning about it. Because this person ain't going to come towards you till they know you're single. I love that, Cappies. You can ring my bell, or ring my bell. Ring -a -ling -a -ling. Oh, I, I love that energy, Capricorns. There's going to be something about the communication that you're 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 going to love because the communication is going to be easy. This person, uh, you and this person, are going to be able to just. Uh, really talk and, and the discussions are going to be great. You're going to be able to, you know, respect each other's opinions and you're going to learn from each other and it's going to be a beautiful sort of uh, interplay because the communication is going to be what's key. And a lot of you aren't going to be used to that because this person will probably call your ass out if you're still dealing with an ex. They'll say, hey, look, I thought you were single, but if you're still fucking with that situation, I'm just going to go because I ain't dealing with that. So keep that shit in mind, Capricorns. Peace, love, and light.